Hey everyone, I'm your host Marcus Norman of Gentleman Style Podcast Show And today we have the incredible man of the hour here on the Gentleman Style Podcast Show And we're going to be talking about something that I have absolutely not gotten a chance to get an expert on the show about We're going to talk about mobile home investing, right? And we've talked about numerous different types of real estate investing But this is a unique concept and I couldn't think of anything better And I had to find you all the expert the man to bring on the show today but this man has a profound knowledge he's been doing this for quite some time he and and this is actually family and we talk about family and legacy he's been doing um his dad brought him into the business of mobile home investing and he is actually here to give back and spill some tea on the show you guys won't want to miss one second of what this powerhouse speaker has in store for us stay with us stay tuned here we go hey everyone i'm your host marcus norman of gentleman style podcast show and today i have Mr. Abdul Shabazz. This man is the truth. And he is tearing it up in the mobile home industry in Georgia, killing the absolute game. He is spitting knowledge, but he's also giving back. He's empowering others to go along the same journey, the same path that he is doing in the mobile home industry. And he is made, moving mountains and he is empowering others like himself to do the exact same thing. So without further ado, I, I, I can't hold this powerhouse speaker back any longer. And also during this interview, we'll actually share, he'll share some of the details of his upcoming conference and workshop. So help me welcome to the stage, the incredible Mr. Abdul Shabazz. <laughs> Welcome, welcome to the Gentleman Style Podcast show, brother. How are you? Man, I'm on top of the world. I'm on top of the world, man. Thanks for having me, big bro. Absolutely. It's my honor and my pleasure to have you on the show, sir. I had to reach out. I When I saw what you was doing, moving and shaking in the industry, I was like, I gotta, I hope he responds. Please, please, I hope he responds. And you did, and now we got you on the show, sir. So thank you. Thank you again so much. Sir, I gotta ask, my introduction did you no know justice. Can you tell us um, more about yourself that I, I failed? I failed in that department. Can you tell us what is it you do and how is it you got started in the mobile home investing industry, brother? Yes, yes. Now, your introduction was actually perfect, man. <laughs> but um, first and foremost, I want to thank you for uh, for having me on the show. Um, when I introduce myself, I just let people know, you know, um, I teach entrepreneurs all over the country how to buy, fix and flip uh, mobile homes. Um, it's as simple as that. And um, me getting started. Um, I have to salute my father. My father played a, a pivotal role in my life, and he's still playing a very instrumental role in my life right now. I speak to my father almost every single day. And every time we get on the phone, we're always talking about mobile homes or we're talking about some type of real estate project or just growth and development. So me and my father, we have a great bond. But he's the person who actually introduced me to mobile homes. and. He introduced me to mobile homes when I was 15 years old. You know, um, I tell people, our family, we have a wealth of knowledge when it comes down to the mobile home industry. And I didn't know what my father was doing. He would just tell me, Abdul, come to this house, cut the grass, come to this house, Abdul. I want you to go ahead and, you know, help me fix this, help me fix that, help me paint the inside of the mobile home. Anytime he has some type of dispute or um, an issue with the tenant, he would actually have me go with him. So now I'm able to see how he's interacting with the tenant. Right. And I didn't know years later I was going to become a mobile home investor. And there was a situation where I was working with the youth. And I gave them my complete uh, outline of how I could have take the program to the next level. And it was just something that slapped me in the face because the director took my outline, the program that I was supposed to be doing. And they gave it to somebody else. So whenever that took place, I told myself I need to do something for myself. 
And, you know, um, I've always been taught do for self or suffer the consequences. And the consequences is whenever you are at somebody else's mercy. So I didn't want to be at somebody else's mercy. I didn't want to, you know, have to clock in somebody telling me when to come to work, when to go to lunch break. And then they dictate my salary. Right. I didn't want that. So I called my father and I said, look, I need to get back into mobile home investing. Like, can you show me the rope? Show me how I can do this. And kind of like he kind of like chuckled at me. And it was like, I'm due. I gave you the blueprint, but you you went a different path. And so whenever that took place, man, um, man, I was calling my pops every single day. And the three things that I studied was real estate, business and credit. I did that for 10 months before I actually went to buy my very first mobile home. And when I bought my very first mobile home, that right there changed, the, like literally changed the trajectory in the direction where I was going. And uh, man, I hugged my wife. We took a picture with our first check. You know, we made six thousand one hundred and fifty dollars in profit off of that first check. And I said, "Look, this is going to be a game changer for our family." So, man, that's what? What? Absolute goal, man! Shout out to your dad. Um, shout out to your family, right? Um, because it takes a village, right? Um, you, you your dad gave you the blueprint without you even realizing you had the blueprint and that he was instilling this in you. And then shout out to you for bringing your wife and your family on board. And cause that's, that's legacy building. That's, that's true. Um, testimony. We don't hear enough of that, right? We can't get to where we're going by ourselves. And, and thank you for, for, for pointing out those two things. Uh, brother, I been sneaking around on your Instagram. All day, <laughs> all day, and I just want to show this this clip. Um, game right now, and we're gonna share the screen. But how are you investing? Because your your first story, your background, you actually got involved in mobile homes, in with just eight hundred dollars. And, and so, can you spill some tea and the nuggets on that? How'd you get into mobile home investing? With just an eight hundred dollar investments, and now we're sharing the screen here. So he's y'all right there on the screen. Purchase for two thousand. Purchase for thirty five hundred. How did you get in the game with just with with that little bit, sir? Can you spill some tea around that? Yeah, absolutely, man. Um, so whenever that situation um happened with my job, uh, I actually left that job because uh, I said I couldn't work with them. I left that job and I started a new career path. And that career path was working with children with autism. So I did like ABA. Um, so that's applied behavior analysis. I did that type. I did that work. And that was actually the most money I ever made, you know, working with children with autism. So every single uh, paycheck, I was putting money to the side, putting money to the side, putting money to the side, putting money to the side. And what really fueled my fire is whenever my wife, she was like, dude, let's go out to eat. And man, me and her, we went out to eat. We had a beautiful lunch. And when she slid me this gift, I, as I'm unwrapping the gift, I see a, a pregnancy test. And that right there really like fueled me. Man, I picked up like two more jobs. And every time I was making money off those jobs, I was putting it away. Because I, I wanted to make sure that I could be three things for my family. And that was a maintainer, a protector, and a provider. So I was putting money to the side. And I told myself, I said, look, I'm going to find a mobile home less than $4,000. So whenever I started looking for mobile homes, I had $4,000 in my bank account that I saved. And I kept telling myself, I'm going to find a mobile home less than $4,000. I'm going to find a mobile home less than $4,000. and Little did I know, I'm looking on Craigslist one day and I see a mobile home for about $1,100. I saw a mobile home for $1,100. And I went down there, you know, I'm calling the people. The guy said the home is still available. I went down to the community. I'm talking to the park manager, right? And let me tell you, as I'm driving down to the community, they're taking me down like back roads. So in my mind, I'm like, oh, man, I'm doing this your first deal. I don't know if this is going to be good. Right. And not only that, as I'm driving down, it is raining. Right. 
is is lightning, is thundering. So I said, man, what is God trying to tell me? Like, well, what's what's going on right now? And so when I get to the community, the guy who was supposed to show me the mobile home, he wasn't even there. So I'm like, oh my gosh. So I'm talking to the property manager. The property manager is telling me that uh, there were squatters in the house. The house is a wreck. Like, she don't even think I would be interested in purchasing this mobile home because how bad and condition is in. And so I'm looking at the mobile home and the mobile home was actually in good condition to me. Because remember, I'm used to renovating these mobile homes. So I'm used to seeing the before and the after. And I know the capabilities and what I could do with this mobile home. But now I'm telling this to people like, yo, look, I found a mobile home for $1,100. And people are telling me, Abdul, if you get a house for $1,100, Abdul, that's a scam. Don't set yourself up for failure, right? And so I'm hearing this from other people. And I was, you know, I was always taught this. Don't share big ideas with small-minded individuals. And that's what I was doing during that time. So I allowed them to actually derail me from getting that mobile home. So that was on a Tuesday. So as I'm driving back home, I'm like, man, should I get it? Should I not? Should I get it? Should I not? Right. Well, that Friday, I called the guy back and I said, hey, look, I'm interested in purchasing this mobile home. Well, the guy told me that somebody have already put money down and they're going with them to go ahead and get them approved to live inside, you know, this mobile home and take it over from them. From that day, I told myself, man, I, I was talking to myself and I was talking to God. I'm like, look, God, if you ever give me this opportunity again, I would not fumble the bag like this again. I would not like like I, I got to I got to get a mobile home. And this was the perfect opportunity. Well, circling back around, this is how crazy thing is. I kept praying that I was going to get me a mobile home. The same guy who who allowed somebody to put money down on the mobile home. He actually called me back and said, hey, Abdul, the guy was not able to finish his payment. So the home is now available again. So are you still interested in the home? Well, my father, he taught me a great negotiating tip. He said, Abdul, anytime you have a negotiated number on the table and that person leaves the table and they try to come back, now renegotiate. So we already settled at $1,100 because I felt during that time I shouldn't even negotiate for $1,100. That's a no brainer. Mm -hmm. Well, I did what my father said and I negotiate the numbers down to $800. The guy said, hey, look, I'm in Atlanta. I said, I'm in Atlanta. And he said, well, when can you meet me? Man, we set the date up for the next, uh, the next day in the morning time. I went down there. I bought the mobile home and I got the mobile home for $800, bro. And ever since then, once I got the mobile home for $800, I was all in $3,800. So I put $3,000 into that home. The crazy thing about it was I was so like my drive is like I'm built different. I was telling my wife, I said, look, like, can you sacrifice me going down into this mobile home and spending the night? Like on my the later project the later part of the project i was literally spending the night in the mobile home so that i could wake up and continue the renovations so i can get it sold like me using a ladder my ladder was my wife's car to paint the top part of the house that was my ladder but let me show you how god worked as i'm doing all of this i'm talking about limited resources limited tools i was limited in everything Two houses down, an older gentleman, he saw me using my wife car as a ladder. He said, hey, look, he said, excuse me, sir. He said, I have a 10 foot ladder at my house. Do you want to use that? I said, absolutely. Man, I ran to his house, grabbed the ladder, <laughs> now I'm using his ladder, right? And so I'm like, okay, cool. I don't have to get brown paint on my wife's car no more and trying to scrape it off, you know, at the end of the shift, right? right. So he comes back to me, he said, look, he said, I got two. He said, do you want to use some of my tools? I said, absolutely. <laughs> so now I'm using his tool. Then he comes back. He said, do you mind me taking a look on the inside of the house? Now, you know, my, you know, immature mindset, at first I was thinking like, oh, he's trying to snoop to see what I'm doing inside the house. I said, I don't really know him like that, but I do know he's been letting me use his tools and his ladder. 
So something told me to let them in the house. Well, there was a there was a piece of the project that I didn't have the skill set to do. And he said, oh, I know how to do that. He said, matter of fact, he said, I can call one of my partners and we can help you do it. Long story short, bro, I've been using this guy for pretty much the last four years, bro. Like, he's been with me on my uh, renovation ever since then, because that same day that he came and his partner came to fix that part of the mobile home, he has been renovating my mobile homes in that area all the way up to now, bro. <laughs> wow. That's that's a true look at God. Look how he can turn things around moment for real. Like what what do you think his intentions were? Was he just trying was he looking for work? Do you think he was he saw what she was doing? And he was like, "Man, this is a potential for me to gain employment." Was he a contractor? What was he? What was his deal? Uh so this is exactly what he said. He said the reason why he helped me because he saw him in me. He said that's why he helped me. Because he said that he used to do the same exact thing that I was doing. He used to renovate mobile homes. And he had multiple mobile homes that he used to own and rent out. So he said, bro, he said, I see me in you. So he said, I'm obligated to help you. And then from there, I'm talking about our relationship. You know, it, it grew so much to where, man, I would just come to the Columbus, Georgia area and just kick it with him. He would invite me in his house, you know, for coffee and everything. And we just sit in his mobile home and just talk about different, you know, events that's happening in our life. Like we'll talk about family. We'll talk about God. Like we just talk about everything, you know. And so I look at him not as a worker. I look at him like, you know, as my, my well, he, he's in his 60s. I think he's like 65. So got to be like a grandfather to me now. Extended you know? family, yeah. Right. So it's, it's just one of those things, man. That's a blessing. That's a blessing. You, This is a blessing, y'all. This is a blessing to have Mr. Abdul spilling the tea on the Gentleman Style Podcast. We got to go quick to a commercial break, but don't go anywhere. We'll stay tuned. We'll be right, right back. Good day, podcast listeners. This is your boy, Marcus Norman of Gentleman Style Podcast Show. I wanted to let you guys know that we will be rolling out a new feature and adding a join sponsor button next to the subscriber button here at the bottom of your screen. Once you click the button, it will display three membership levels. Gentleman Gentry, which is our entry level, Duke Duchess, which is our season level, and the Emperor and Empress, which is our most sophisticated level, which you will receive unique perks and benefits at each differing level and gain access to our community tab. We will also be sharing polls, upcoming events, and interviews, as well as receive feedback from our sponsors directly. Your support helps me find new and exciting guests to bring to the stage live. Well, in order to get the higher end speakers, it requires, well, some, you guessed it, money. So thank you for tuning in to my channel. And if becoming a sponsor sounds good to you, then select the join button below and choose your desired sponsor level. Let's continue to grow and serve the future of generations of men and women to come. Love you guys. Bye. We are back to the Gentleman's Style Podcast show and we have Mr. Abdul. Shabazz spilling the tea on how he has learned the mobile home investing game. This is a family business and how he was able to start and get started for as little as $800. He just spilled the tea on that. If you missed any of that, um, go back, scroll back and check him out. That story is powerhouse and it's dynamite. Um, you can find him on YouTube, Spotify, LinkedIn, anywhere you get your podcast, Facebook, Facebook business page, Apple, iTunes, Google Play, wherever you can find your podcast, you can find it here on Gentleman Style Podcast Show. Mr. Abdul, man, that is epic, right? That this 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 man, this seemingly uh, unexpected man was impacting your life in the very beginning and has stuck with you to this day. Um, 
you have an incredible mind and you have a drive and a passion that it supersedes anything. That's why you've been successful um, in this industry. What would you, what, what, why mobile home investing? I guess I want to scroll back a little bit. What is a mobile home? And what, how is that different from a traditional home or a condo or anything? Like that? What is a mobile home exactly? Yeah, so um, a lot of people, they heard the terminology uh, mobile home, manufactured home, right? Logical home. Um, and some of y'all, y'all may know the terminology trailer, right? So it is it's different um, names that, you know, all of these types of homes, but the homes are pretty much. So a mobile home is anything that is before 1976, of June the 15th, right? That's anything before that time period. A manufacturing home is anything after June 15th of 1976. That's whenever HUD said, no, we got to start regulating these homes, right? And so once HUD stepped in, anything after June 15th, 1976, those are going to be considered manufacturing homes. And in the modular homes that you may see, um, they all look alike, all look alike, but the modular homes are built on city homes. Um, so whenever you look at mobile homes, one of the biggest difference, or ma mobile homes, manufacturing homes, whatever you want to call it, the biggest difference is, y'all heard the terminology ARV, right? And that's after repair of value. Well, the cool thing about mobile homes, we say ARV, and that stands for after relocation value. The difference between a mobile home and a single family home is a single family home is a fix of the land, right? A mobile home, if I don't like my location, I can pick my mobile home up and move it. That's the beautiful thing about a mobile home. Well, if the mobile home is in a rough area, I can take that same mobile home and it can be valued. People will probably pay, let's say, $10,000 for this mobile home in this rough area or less than that. But I can take that same mobile home and put it in a nicer community and now that mobile home value can go up because it's in a nicer community. So that's what I like about mobile homes than a single family home because mobile homes, they can be moved around. Also, another, another difference between mobile home and a single family home is when it comes down to mobile home taxes, I roughly pay around $70 per each one of my mobile homes in taxes every single year. The average single family home person have to pay roughly around $3,500 on average. So which one would you rather pay? $3,500 or $70? Not only that, right now I'm in Arizona, right? I can go outside of my office. I can go down the street. And if I see a mobile home that I like, I can purchase that mobile home the same exact day. The reason why I can do that is because mobile home is instead of personal property. Now, if a person have all their ducks in a row, everything is, you know, good to go, right? They can close on a single family home in 30 days. But we already know that's not the case. So what's going to happen is it's going to take you 60 to 90 days to close on a single family home. With me, I can close the same exact day. This is some of the reasons why I like more homes over a single family home. And then also the entry point, the cash on cash return. It's excellent. Y'all heard I got my first mobile home for $800, all in $3,800. I sold it for $9,950. I made a $6,150 profit on my first deal. The next week after that deal was sold, I purchased two more mobile homes, one for $1,000 and the other one for $2,000. You can't do that with real estate. And I got those deals the same exact date. You can't do that with real estate. It's an entire process, right? I don't have to go through realtors. I am my own realtor, okay? I, I teach my students how they can actually go and find these deals, and you don't need a realtor that's going to be taking 3% or whatever percentage out of the deal. You know, that's, of course, from the person that's selling the home, but we don't have to go through these people. We can literally be a one-stop shop whenever we are in this mobile home business. It just it is too easy. I tell people it is easier to get into mobile homes than to get into anything else. I tell people I like this. Mobile home is the gateway to real estate. It's the gateway. Mobile home is not the end all be all, family. I understand there's things that's bigger than mobile homes. Absolutely, y'all. But it is your starting ground. So look at the military. 
before you actually go to the Marines, right? Before you actually go to infantry or another segment that the military have, right? Everybody have to go through basic training. Well, mobile homes are the basic training grounds for real estate. So before I go out there and I buy that apartment complex, go ahead, get your fundamentals down, right? Learn how to rehab on a small scale. And then go ahead and get your apartment complex. And then go ahead and get your mobile home park, right? And then go ahead and get your hotel. So mobile homes is your basic training ground. Mm. Mm. That's huge. That's huge. So that that's a great point. What cities or states do you invest in mobile homes? <laughs> Um, primarily, because you you're currently in Arizona. Um, I I'm guessing you get started in you started in Georgia. You and Dad started in Georgia. Um, what what's what's the best states to, um that you're investing in mobile homes right now? Yeah, so the starting point for us was in South Carolina. South so um, we invest in South Carolina, Alabama, uh, Georgia, North Carolina, and Florida area, and sometimes uh, throughout the country, you know. You know so question for you, and, and, and I wanted to I wanted to point ask this question about real mobile home investing. So thank you for breaking down earlier what a mobile home is and, and how and what people can expect. Um where are, can people invest with you currently? Um are you taking investors or are you strictly just teaching the course to how to do it themselves? Because you you just said um, they don't need a real estate agent. They can actually become their own dealer and, and negotiate and close on a deal quickly. Um, what do you what do you recommend? Do you recommend um working with you and investing with you? Is that something you offer? So you invest in your money, that, that's cool. But I want I really want to teach you how to fish so you can feed your family for a lifetime. That's my that's the biggest thing that I'm really focusing on. So investing is absolutely cool, but I need you to learn these skill set. So you can actually do it by yourself. So you don't have to depend on me. I'm, the people that's underneath me, as far as my students, I make sure that everybody is independent. I want everybody to be independent. Don't worry. Don't don't sit there and wait on Abdul. No, I need you to go and get it. I, I, I want to teach you how to do it. You know, so I'm a firm believer. You teach what you know, but you produce who you are. Who you are. So if I want to produce who I am, then I got to make sure that literally the, the mindset and my drive, that person have that same drive, that same mindset, that same, oh, you know, I got to get up. I got to I got to get it right. We don't even got to set our alarm clocks. We already know every morning at 5 a.m. you're getting up by yourself because you have a, a mission that you got to accomplish for that day. You know, so uh, 2023, we are going to open it up, you know, for those people. But I'm. Um, I'm also interested in people actually learning how to do this themselves. Love that. I love that. And and thank you for, for breaking that down. Uh, tell us about your, first off, you have a book, you have a book, the blueprint on mobile home investing. Where can people get a copy of the book? And, and, and what, what's, what can people expect when they read it? I know it's, it, it may be self-explanatory, but what, what can people expect when they purchase their book? Yeah, so uh, whenever you purchase the book, um, just like the front cover, it's a blueprint. So the building that I'm in right now, right? Imagine if I had architects, engineers, right, electricians, plumbers, everybody come to this this building without it even being. Or matter of fact, we can use the structure. The structure's already built, but all of them are in this building right now. And I tell them, I need you to do this, 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 and this, and this, and this. The first thing they're going to ask me for is the blueprints. That's the first thing they're going to ask is where are the blueprints? So what I do is I give you the blueprint inside of my book, how you can get started all the way to how you can close. And then through the book, like people, man, I got so many testimonies just off of that one book right there. This Abdul, this blueprint and how you designed it, they said this is a course in and out of itself in the form of an ebook. 
So if you read it from cover to cover, you will already know how to go out there and close on your own mobile home deal. Because I, I would literally walk you through an entire year and a half of my life in the mobile home industry. When I first got started, I walked you through an entire year and a half and it's written right there in that book. So you will be able to see the wins. You'll be able to see the pitfalls. You will see all of those things inside that book and how you can actually avoid it, you know, um, and close on these mobile home deals without any headaches, you know. So um, that right there is, you know, what you expect, man, once you buy this uh, this book. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You have two things coming up. You have your your workshop on November 17th and then December is the actual conference. Tell us the difference and what people can expect with that. Yeah, so um, I've been doing for like the last two months, I've been doing uh, workshops, uh, whether the workshops are five dollars or the workshops been free, man. And so I do this so I can give back, you know, so nobody can say, oh, Abdul, he's always charging. He always charges. There's nothing wrong with charging people. I'm a firm believer. If you don't pay, you don't pay attention. I'm a firm believer of that. But I know that whenever you are in my class. Everything in me, te my teaching style is I'm literally giving you steps that you can take to invest that same day, not tomorrow, not six months to now, you know, six months from now. I give you the game on how you can invest that same exact day, you know. Um, so in November 17 class, it's a free workshop. But in my free workshop, I give you so much game. It's like I, I give you at least 500 to a thousand dollars worth of game just in my free class alone. And that's hands down. And the reason why I can say this so boldly is because one of my students, several of my students recently, I'm talking about in the last couple of weeks, they took that $5 or that free workshop and they have already closed on multiple mobile home deals. That's why I can say that, you know, so boldly because this just happened. They just took the five dollar or the free class and it was able to close on what I believe was over like three deals, three mobile home deals. They was able to close on multiple of my students and they're in my inner circle right now. You know, um, so that's why I tell people like. If we get 100 plus people on the call, only about seven percent of the people on that call is going to take action, because oftentimes the people that I get on that call. They're not serious. They're just curious. Yeah. That's all they are. They're just curious. They want to see what I'm doing. They just want to be in a room with me. Oh, let me just see what Abdul is doing. But I'm not about to take no action. So really, when I give these classes, I'm only talking to 7 percent of the people. So I don't care if I have a thousand people in my live class. Only 7 percent of that thousand is going to take action. So I know that I need to focus on, you know, 70 70 people. I need to focus on 10 people. It all depends on how big the class is. So at the end of the day, that's what I look for, man. Um, I look for those people that actually want to take action. Uh, those people who are actually serious about changing uh, their lifestyle and those people who really want to bet on themselves. So um, I teach you literally how you can get started in the mobile home industry and how you can uh, close on a mobile home deal. I do that in a short period of time for 45 minutes. And that's in our free class. Now, the uh, the conference that we have December 10th, that right there is going to be epic. You know, we're, we're close to being sold out right now. Um, so, you know, in a few short weeks, man, we're going to be shutting things down. And I'm going to just be focused on the people who have already bought their ticket. But it's going to be a live conference. And I tell people, if you want to see how our last live conference was, just go scroll on my Instagram page and you will see, man, we had people all over the country that joined us. After the conference, we were sitting on a farm that had, I believe it was about 20 acres. And we showed the people how they could have make 15. It was, we showed them 15 different ways how they can make money off their land. And we walked them around the entire property and showed them my guy, brother Ghazi, man, he did an excellent job as a tour guide, man, showing us, you know, um, 
And so the conference was beautiful, man. And I just tell people, if you want to be in the room, if you want to learn more, the information I'm going to be given is going to be the high level information. It's not going to be like the basics of the basics. We're going to cover those grounds, but I'm going to give you high level information to where once you're walking into 2023, you should be ready to, to fire your boss. That's the type of information I'm going to give you. I'm going to give live demonstrations. So the sites and everything that I use, man, I'm going to be showing them how they can after, literally that same day, if they apply it, they can already have one of their key team members set up on their team and hired. I'm going to be showing them all of those blueprints, you know. Um, so right now, uh, I showed my inner circle how I, you know, was able to do that. And uh, the beginning of this week, what I did was I put about 40 different mobile home deals in the group. 40. Wow. I put about 40 mobile home deals in a group. Everything was less than $15,000. So anybody that's in my inner circle right now, they'll, they'll say, yo, look, Abdul is telling the truth. I put about 40 inside it. And I told them, yo, look, if you in this areas, I need y'all to go check it out. So to my students, I was in those areas, man, they went down and it's checking out the deals, checking out the deals. And right now, some of them are actually waiting on responses so they can actually pay and purchase um, several of those mobile homes that I put. So my thing is, this is not something that I looked up. This is what my team member looked up and sent to me. So my thing is, just imagine if you have 40 deals coming to you every single week. Can you buy one? That's all I'm looking for. It's just one deal. That's it. Can I buy one mobile home deal? And then can I wholesale those other deals that I don't purchase to somebody else? Absolutely. So, yeah, so this conference is going to be like no other. It's an all black affair, man. So you already know how I'm stepping when I'm, and when I'm, when I'm on my all black. Oh, I'm stepping hard. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm stepping hard. So yes, man, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be dope. It's going to be a dynamic event, man. Um, it's really going to be life changing information, um, that, you know, we're going to bring and then we're going to have some heavy hitters that's going to be, um, there as well. So whenever we have the networking period, we're going to have two networking periods, the beginning of the conference, we're going to be networking and at the end. And so I, I told my students like, yo, we're going to have some heavy hitters there. So you need to talk to everybody. So even a person that you look that you're looking at, and you're like, nah, I don't think they they really hitting for something. Talk to them because these are probably one of the people who may who may own, you know, large you know businesses. And you just need to go ahead and just talk to them. So it's, it's going to be dope, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are there, any, are there any negatives to mobile home investing? Any downsides? We've talked a lot about the positives. Any downsides or people that should be wary about and be careful about when dealing with mobile home investing or manufactured home investing is there, what I just learned today, the other terms. Yeah, so um, I, I, would, I would give y'all this. You know, um, you really got to check with the, the regulations, um, the rules and regulations and how your state operates. Uh, with manufactured homes or mobile homes. Um, the reason why I say that is because prime example, let me give you an example, right? I tell my students, no deal. I mean, no, no title, no deal. Okay. So a mobile home is going to come with a title. So the same title that you use for a deal code is the same title that a mobile home is going to have. So if a person come to you and they say, yo, look, we only have the bill of sale. The bill of sale is only the receipt. That's all it is. When a person say we only have the bill of sale, I tell my students, no title, no deal, right? However, you need to check with the state regulations on mobile homes and rules. The reason why I say that is because some states will actually allow you to sell a mobile home without a title. Prime example, I told you I invest in Alabama. Well, Alabama rule is, if the mobile home is over 20 years old, you don't need a title. Mm. You don't need a title. Wow. And so I didn't know that until I actually started doing research before I purchased the mobile home. You know, so I tell people, if your mobile home 
is underneath a 2002, you don't need a title. So let's say if somebody tries to sell you a 1998 mobile home, right? You don't need a title for it. A bill of sale is sufficient. But if your mobile home is a 2003, then you need a title. But let's say in Georgia, in Georgia, you must have the title and the bill of sale. So if you invested in Georgia and somebody tried to give you the bill of sale, then you know that's not a deal that you can accept. It's incomplete. It's right. The, the transaction is going to be an incomplete transaction. So um, this is some of the things that you need. You know, I tell people, um, of course, you need to worry about whenever you're trying to, uh, you know, invest in mobile home. That's just one aspect of things, too. Another aspect I give you right now is going to be the lot rent. So people got to understand when you buy the mobile home, you own that mobile home, but you don't own the land that the mobile home is sitting on unless you buy the land and the mobile home. Mr. Shabazz, this has been an epic interview. And I thank you for giving back in this way and sharing these nuggets. Um, you have any you. final oh, words of a or encouragement that you want to give my audience um, today um, in this dynamic interview. Any any final words? How can people connect with you? How can we find you? Yeah, so I'm big on Instagram. That's the platform that I just did. Uh, and I feel pretty much damn where you are and where you want to be. That's two different people. So if you never jump, you would never see the person that you want to become. So oftentimes what ends up happening is we, we, we tend to play with our potential. We tend to play with our potential. So God has given us gifts and talents. So we have the potential to be great men and women. We have the potential, but our reality, we're operating off of a mediocre reality and so we can't we can't do that anymore man we gotta we gotta stop playing with our potential we gotta be able to jump and whenever you jump right some people say well i just don't want to jump not knowing what i'm going but man you gotta have faith in god that's what that jump is the jump is your faith and your trust in god believe it that whenever you jump he going to help you land safely on the ground or he's going to help you land safely to your destination that you was jumping to. So whenever you jump, you're not just jumping aimlessly. No, you jumping with a purpose to get from point A to point B. You jumping with a vision. Because you know, OK, well, cool, where I'm at, Woo, this ain't it. But where I'm going, oh, that destination is beautiful. And so that's what I do, man. I set my goal. I make sure I have a target and I say, whoo, I'm going to work towards it. I tell people all the time, yo, you can sit there and you can pray all day long. But I have never met not one man or not one woman that I've ever prayed, right, for food and food came from the sky. Have you ever met somebody like that before? No. If you have, please let me know. <laughs> I need to meet this person ASAP. But what happens is whenever you pray, you must you must get up and go after that which you have prayed for. So every time I pray, I know that, OK, cool. Now the prayer is my connection with God. So I know that whenever I pray, God, he's by my side. But God want to make sure that I take a step, because once I take a step, God is going to take two steps. And if I'm walking with God, I can't lose. But I know that. My action is everything. That's why it says, you know, uh, it says, you know, uh, uh, what is what is it? Faith without work is dead. Yep. So it's one of, it's one of those things you got to work, man. You got to work. So I'll leave you all with that. Got to put in the work. Put in the work. This has been a dynamic episode, a powerhouse episode today. And I thank you, Mr. Shabazz, for giving back in this way. I thank you, brother, for, for being here and sharing. This has been transformational.
guys got to get to his class, got to get to his workshop, and get to that conference um, coming up in December. Uh, that's going to be epic. That's going to be major. Golden Nuggets. You heard the results. You can see the results on his Instagram with his team and what he's doing and teaching others and giving back in so many ways. Hey, Mr. Shabazz, thank you, brother. I appreciate you. Sir, thank you, big bro. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. And thank you all, my audience, for tuning in to the Gentleman Style Podcast show. I hope this was helpful. I hope this was information and inspiring and encouraging and to let you know that you can do this. You just got to have faith and take the jump and have faith. Have faith that you know you're going to land with great mentors and great educators like Mr. Shabazz. Like I and we got to let him go. He got many more deals to close on, but we got to let him go. But please, please connect on Instagram, on Facebook. Check him out, themobilehomecloser.com. That's his website. And Instagram, the mobile home closers at mo- the mobile home closers on Instagram. Check him out. Absolutely phenomenal. Like I end every show, take care of your friends, take care of your family, and always, always take care of business. This is Marcus Norman of Gentleman Style Podcast Show. And in the mobile home closer, Mr. Abdul Shabazz, signing off. Love you guys. Bye.